Travis Quaid uh, has been dealing with some real life drama after his newborn twins were mistakenly overdosed with a blood thinning drug. And you say, how could that happen? And, you know, we've heard other stories of surgeons operating on the wrong leg, for example, or, or arm and frightening stuff out there when you go to the hospital. You never know. So how can you protect yourself against medical mistakes? Dr. Jake Deutsch with Hackensack University Medical Center has some life saving advice. First of all, how often does this kind of error happen? I think this is so frightening. Well, mistakes are probably underreported, so we probably don't have a true estimate. But when you talk about medical mistakes leading to death, they actually estimate between 50 and 100,000 cases per year. 50 That's and 100,000 cases. That's more than highway fatalities, than breast cancer, or HIV and AIDS. So this is a real problem, and I think paying attention to it is very important. Why does that information get out? I mean, until now, until right now, when we're hearing this. Well, I think in this situation, when you're talking about a Hollywood, Hollywood celebrity, obviously it becomes very important. Other reasons it may not be you know, brought out to the press is because uh, people don't report it. Uh, sometimes there's no bad outcome, so there's no harm. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, sometimes it just slips by, so. Now, what are some of these things that do happen? Obviously, in the case of the Quades, the children were given blood thinning medicine, an overdose of it. Right. Um, we've read that incorrect limbs are amputated sometimes. Yeah. In the wrong breast is... Operated major, on. I major mean, huge, mistakes. This is huge stuff. Exactly. And it's actually kind of unbelievable when you see the after effects. But when you think about it, it's more about the systems and the systems that are in place in the hospital that people inadvertently, you know, amputate the wrong side. So what actually they're trying to improve is the systems that are operating the hospital to prevent things like this. So actually pre-surgical checklists where uh, the surgeon will come in and talk with you before you have your procedure mm -hmm. and say, all right, we're going to be working on your right elbow, for right. instance. Um, and then actually in the operating theater, they'll be doing a checklist where there's actually a time out. So everybody is going to stop what they're doing, including the nurses and the scrub techs, mm -hmm. and they'll be talking about the case. So today we're working on so-and-so's left kidney, and it's actually a way in order to make sure those type of things so don't happen. So you've got a good system of checks and balances in place to be more proactive against these kinds of things happening. Absolutely. Let's go through a list of some of the mistakes that are out there. For example, mm -hmm. uh, Tampa, a, a surgeon there removed the wrong leg. Mm -hmm. uh, a man dies after surgery on the wrong side of, of his head. Mm. Doctors remove the wrong testicle how does that happen <laughs> the surgeon removes kidney instead of gallbladder and a girl dies uh, as well uh, after receiving uh, uh, the Do wrong heart and lung. There's I mean how the heck? There's Honestly. many factors that play into that and actually there's a joint commission that focuses on hospital accreditation and they're really big on safety in the hospital and so some of the safety measures that they're trying to improve upon our patient identifiers so when you're in the hospital you have a patient identification band and actually there's implementation to check two forms of identifiers so they're going to be looking at your armband and uh -huh. saying are you sally smith and shouldn't it be also something as basic i know uh, my late mother-in-law used to when her husband would go in for eye surgery she would take a marker and put it over the mm -hmm. correct eye because she i mean just taking such steps that seem so stupid and silly sure but just reaffirming we all know what we're here for but that's absolutely right Right, and that, that's what the surgeons are doing, is they're actually writing, you know, where the surgical incision or procedure should be done. Dr. George, real quickly, I mean, we expect the hospital to do the right thing, the doctors to do the right thing, but what about the patients themselves? What should they do? Well, there's a couple of key points. Always be your best advocate. Become a healthcare advocate for yourself. So that means ask questions. Talk with your doctor. When you're having treatment, discuss what, is, what am I having done? What is the procedure that I'm having done? To be okay. very clear about it. Other things you could do is be clear about your medications. All right. So make sure they know what you're taking, what the doses are, and allergies are very, very important. To. Dr. Jake Deutsch, Hackensack uh, University Medical Center. Good Thanks hospital, so by the way. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And switching gears, country.